Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Man, I definitely want to get you guys on this cold day right now going on. It's about like 45 degrees. Um, snowing in most of the state of Texas. Uh, I think, I think it's the closest is that snow is coming to Houston. It's calm, bro. But um, like I said, it's still cold. It don't matter if we got the snow or no snow. It's still cold. Um, but yeah, man, let's just go on and drop in here, man. Let's uh, talk about what's going on. Let's talk about... Um, 2021, um, you know, everything was going on, but let's go to the bottom line of things that, um, in the spectrum, people are not talking about is the job losses, and this is going to be a very, very tough year for women, especially black women, but women in general, but definitely black women is going to be a very tough year. Um, they just announced, you know, from December, um, Job losses was, I think, about 140,000 jobs was cut in December. And all of them was held by women. Um, now, women, in a, um, now in a, in, a, in a nut crack of totally, with, of total. Now, this is for December, but. You know, but they but they included some numbers for this month as well. I mean, I mean, I think for January as well. Um, the first the first week of January, they also included some numbers, and that actually spiked to 156,000 jobs lost. While men basically gained gained jobs, we actually, uh, the men actually gained over 16,000 jobs. That's very significant. Um, but the but the reason the factors is a lot of these women's losing jobs is the is the job sectors that's really really impacted of the of the you know the pandemic and you got your the school education you got healthcare um, on certain uh, certain things in healthcare um, and you got really the, the majority is hospitals and re I mean not hospital hotels restaurants and retail stores. That's very, I mean, that, that's it. I mean, they've made some recovery, but not really, um, like, a significant recovery. Um, and just all the possibility that new strains of the COVID is, is hitting the United States. And now we're going into a Democratic-controlled co Congress. A, shut, a nation shutdown is very likely. I mean, I'm just going to just put it out there. So you're going to have a lot of people hard hit. Um, but yeah, this is really just for the thing about, about women. I think, uh, you have to throw that notion of being independent. You can make it on your own. It's really becoming a far-fetched fantasy or a disaster in a lot of black women's eyes. I think the unemployment rate for black women is 8.4%. Um, now they're... Actually, uh, you know, a lot of Hispanic and Latin women, they have, I think, a 9.1% of unemployment. So they kind of, they are the number one unemployed group in America. And, you know, white women is about, I think, 5.7% of unemployment. So they're kind of like in the, in the middle. I mean, well, I'm not going to even say the middle. I mean, they're, they're more closer to the 9% than 5 or 6%. Um, but yeah, I man, it's just very telling that, um, you know, that it's going to be a very, very hard year. I mean, uh, you, when you think about it, I think, I, mean, I think, uh, you know, women in a, in a, in a, just a whole one jumbo group lost over a million jobs, uh, more than what men lost. I think they had like 5.4 million job losses while the men suffer 4.4 million job losses. And and I think to the self, women and getting this notion that education is going to lead them to success, um, it's, it's really hitting them smack in the face. Uh, especially for the younger generation of women that's coming up, there's, there, you don't really have that same opportunity as older women had or you're, and even to the standard of, of finding a, a suitable uh, man to help you out or take care of you is, is almost a relativity gone. It's um, it basically like to say, women, 
today, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be very, very harder to succeed in life. Um, a woman will will be destitute without the without a man, without a good man. I mean, you could say you get the wrong man that's who don't have a drive or a mean to even succeed or become successful, and he's a failure himself. Yes, will lead you into failure unless you move to another man that's that got that is a producer or is a, um, a high earner or, or whatever you want to say or even so-called high value when I say that. Um, that's the only way a woman don't really survive really in this day and age. I mean, you can be a government assistant, but that's that's really puts you in a, a perpetration state of poverty. Um, you can't really, I mean, you in governments like welfare, you can't really succeed, you know, really succeed if you, you know, you really can't succeed. You're in a box. Um, now people say, "Well, the many kids I have, well, yes, that's that could be far. That could be pretty telling." But the thing is, you even have some time during the pandemic, they actually decreased some of that. Those child care, certain the child care uh, supplements and stuff like that. So I mean, it's starting. Even the government is starting to tighten its, its reign. Um, so it can be all, you know, government assistance is not really the, the, the best thing in the world. I mean, temporarily might keep you above starvation or whatever like that. But but if something happened with the government, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely things going to get harder, especially with the insurrection, what's going on with the capital. This is probably not over at one type of slot of bids. going to be, it's going to be mass chaos, mass things going on. The economy is basically tanking. Um, it's going to be a very high opener. I mean, it's going to be a very tough, tough, tough living for women, especially black women. Um, Latino women and, and white women, yeah, they can kind of suffer in the group because they got their man beside them that will kind of help them out in that order. So they have more of a, a family structure behind them so they can kind of fall back. Black women don't really have that structure, that family structure that, that can help them financially out. That, I mean, majority of them single motherhood. I mean, what you know about single motherhood, women's gonna struggle all through their life with, unless they have government assistance or they or with the man, if they're with the man or a husband or something like that, their, their life is a little bit less stressful, less stressful. Um, but they don't have that windfall as those other two group of women has, even Asian women, whatever. So it's going to be a very tough year, man. I mean, I mean, it's going to be more job losses maybe this year. It's gonna, definitely going to be more jobs throughout this year. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a wake up call. I mean, um, a lot of young women today is not getting the jobs or the career that um, 20 years, women was getting 10 years ago or 20 years or even 30 years ago. Um, so that's pretty much almost like uh, set in stone in my eyes. Um, and that's just what it is. This is the fate that these women have. And also, there's got to be blamed with the older, the older generation of women for not really telling the truth or what's going on. Um, like I said, single motherhood is a failure. I mean, it's a, it's a disaster. Um, and this is kind of like the result of it. Women just thriving for their own career instead of just thriving for a man to be a, fi a, found a financial foundation for you, you know, and you can also, and, and also help you with your career. That, that was thrown to the wayside right there, you know, for the independent, strong, uh, myth that was thrown out there. So, I mean, that's definitely going to have to, this, definitely, this year is going to be a wake-up call. Um, it's going to be very unforgiving for women. I'm just with, I'm just, I'm being honest with it, brutally honest. And, yeah, that's just, this is kind of going to be the reality of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll get you guys up real soon and, uh, take care. All right, one.